Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Windows Vista, or Longhorn, build 5048. Now previously we've taken a look at of two prior versions of Windows Longhorn, but this version is post-reset, and it has some very interesting UI changes that were really not seen in those original two builds of Longhorn. In my opinion, Longhorn is one of the most interesting development periods of Microsoft Windows, so I'm excited to take a look at this today. So just for some context, Vista build 5048. Uh, again, I'm going to be referring it to both Longhorn and Vista because it's kind of... It, they really didn't decide at that point. Uh, 5048 is a pre-beta 1 build. It was released in April of 2005, so roughly two years before the official release of Windows Vista. And overall, it is really unique. Its original compile date was April Fool's Day in 2005. So... Let's get into it. Typically for my install tutorials or OS reviews, I'm in VMware, but right now we're running a Windows XP virtual machine, and here's why. When you install Windows Longhorn through the ISO, like you boot it up in virtualization, it just won't let you select the disk. So to actually install this build of Longhorn, we have to run it from the DVD. And I believe, yep, this is the right one. So we have to run it inside of Windows XP, but we can't just upgrade. We have to do a clean install from in here. We go ahead and accept the terms and like I said express upgrade is not available so we have to do a clean install right on that C drive and then click continue and we are now installing Windows Longhorn. For some reason when you do that boot up and you boot into the actual ISO it literally does not let you do anything. All right, and that really didn't take that long. Here we are inside of Windows Longhorn. Now I am gonna try to install VMware Tools, but no guarantees because VMware Tools typically doesn't work in beta versions of Windows. So what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to change the resolution, which it's really hard to do that just with this tiny display. So here, this is the desktop of Longhorn Vista Build 5048. And for starters, we can see a very interesting taskbar. I really like this taskbar. It features a blue start button, which is never really seen in public before. Um, it really looks like a combination of XP and Vista with like that gray theme. So taking a look at the start menu, we can see this was kind of in one of the previous builds of Longhorn. It's just kind of been recolored a little bit. Um, again, Windows XP apps, and also some Windows Vista icons, like the new computer icon. But also some really old icons, like Control Panel, looks like a folder from Windows 95. Printers and Faxes, control, like, looks like a folder from Windows 95. But the My Documents and all this looks like Windows Vista folders. So kind of a mix of UI elements here. Um, there is a search bar, which doesn't work maybe I'm doing it wrong yeah I don't think the search bar works I think that was more or less a proof of concept like hey that this exists all programs still has that iconic green arrow but it actually just opens up straight in the start menu unlike XP pre-installed we have our standard accessories uh, which we'll take a look actually I want to open this and we'll take a look at it later <laughs> um, Administrative tools, standard MMC kind of stuff, which Notepad is actually an administrative tool for some reason. Oh, wait, no, wait, what? Notepad? Notepad is file server role management. Okay, very cool. Um, games, Windows XP games, there is no ink ball or anything like that. It still has 3D pinball. Startup, Internet Explorer, Outlook, and that kind of that stuff. So it kind of is debloated a little bit, um, but I'm actually interested in what this is. This is compatibility, I guess. Oh, so this is like when you right click on a menu or you right click on an app and it asks you what you want to run it as. Yeah, this is literally like that. It's running in Windows XP or Windows, Vi Windows 95 compatibility mode. Okay, cool. Um, so there is Arrow and there is DWM for this, but I can't figure out how to get it to work. Um, this is directly ripped out of Windows XP, and I'm actually curious if we can call in still. There's no way it would actually let you activate Windows Longhorn over the phone. I There's no way. 
oh, it's going to let us. I'm not going to do it. But I also, because of this weird thing, we didn't have to disable the internet and we didn't have to change the bio state. So we should, in theory, if I have this VM connected to the internet, I do, we should, in theory, be able to go out on the internet. And just like that, we are browsing the internet on Windows Longhorn with no time bomb. I'm not sure why. They, I'm not. I'm really not sure why there's not a time bomb in this specific version, but there is not. There's not one. As you see, we can just go on the internet. The time is set to the current time, July seventeenth, twenty twenty-two, and it is working very well. Um, bring up run. We can see that this still does identify as Longhorn. 2003 and it expires january 13th 2023 so obviously the time bomb still exists but it only activates when you install the os because that should not say january 13th 2023 but yeah let's take a look at control panel and the file explorer so this does kind of look like windows x windows vista rather it does have that different colored side panel but it's just really weird how some of it is themed like Windows XP with that older style, and then some of it is themed with Windows with the newer style. I really don't like these X buttons up here. They're just wait. They're just too small. I, I really don't like them at all. Taking a look in my computer, which is the File Explorer now, we can see. I really don't remember how this looked in Vista. I did not like Vista at all. I mean, I didn't think it was bad. I just never really used it. But we can see, wow, like this green bar, that does not look good. That red bar doesn't look good at all either. There's that legacy system folder control panel icon. But then there's new folders. So again, like why would you update these but not these? I mean, that is pretty much all of Windows Longhorn. I mean, we do have the shutdown and log off buttons down here, um, like both XP and Vista. But again, unlike Vista, if I remember correctly, by default, the shutdown button was actually put in this this little menu right here which was really annoying because you'd click the button that looks like a shutdown button and it would just hibernate maybe that was just my one vista computer that i never really used but that's how i remember it and i believe this is like user account control set program access and defaults maybe it's not i'm not entirely sure but i remember user account control was a brand new thing in windows vista and no one liked it it was horrible so that is all I can really remember about that. But yeah, there's not target properties. Are these properties and target properties are they the same thing? No, they're not the same thing. Oh, so that is the properties for the shortcut. This is the property for the actual app. That's really convenient. I guess that would be replaced with the open file location now. But uh, yeah, this was Windows Longhorn build 5048. A very interesting build, nonetheless. Um, many UI elements that are really interesting. And in my opinion, I really like looking at Longhorn because the development history of Longhorn and Vista is just so unique. It went through so many changes and so many different things. It's just really fun to take a look at all of them and so if you like this video make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as i do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations that being said see you all in the next one